Yo, I guess beast back with some more beastly content. Today we are going to be sh looking at my newest base. This is a phase five build. This build here is going to be a build that's going to allow you to get a ton of barreled fuel super duper easily. This is the acid method, so this is also going to be a massive acid farm, guys. I mean, this is going to be like, you're going to have so much acid, you're not going to know what to do with it. Except you are, because you have a specific mimetic. Well, at least, I personally do. So, there's a specific mimetic you can unlock that allows you to turn acid into mixed fuel, which then can be converted into barrel fuel. And if you build a base inside of a polluted area... You can place water pumps down, and the water pumps will collect polluted water, which then can be ran through an osmosis purifier, which will create impure acid. Impure acid placed into a barrel with purified water will create acid as the base material of acid. So you can create acid by using this sort of setup here. So this is uh, one of the extremist ones I've seen. I think there's like some guy who did like a super compact one and it had like two osmosis filters at the end of it. Uh, but this one has eight osmosis filters. Uh, and we do this by using electrical toggles and we have six electric eels and six of the deviation power facilities. So we are maxed out on power here and we even shut off our acid barrels just to get a maximized production run of this and i had i think 20 but i just couldn't do 20 with the amount of uh pure or the osmosis purifiers that i had running and i have this chest place up top here this storage container for the water uh it's actually running down into the water and another thing to know about the pipe flowing is that water only runs downhill it can't travel uphill so your water pure or your water pump will have to be placed the highest uh your tanks which are your storage tanks that are then going to go into the osmosis filter that just allows you to have a 32 stack of material sitting and waiting to be placed into the osmosis purifiers now the one i have up top is actually just a feed one so like i had a bunch of seawater on my inventory and i didn't want it so i placed it into the top one and now it's going to run through the osmosis filter and instantly be placed into my acid storage container running over there as you can see it goes from the water pump to the storage containers to the osmosis filters and the osmosis filters are then outputting to a storage container all the way down at the edge of the beach which means that it's at a lower altitude or you know elevation than the other one so the water is going to run straight downhill into that water storage container and as you can see here this is the beach i'm at uh, this is actually a not so much used polluted area because I tried to go to all the known ones that people do videos over and uh, they just don't work out because everyone's already built a base there and I don't want to build there. So, I mean, no one's using this on my server right now. No one's using this area but me. So, uh, I have full free build access here. I just kind of went crazy with it. Uh, 18 water pumps, 8 osmosis purifiers. Uh, and then this here is our storage container here. As you can see here, we have our acid set up here. And we have about 500 already. And we literally just finished building this thing. Uh, and it's already outputted at 500 impure acid. And a whole metric ton of purified water. Now, I'm thinking I had storage containers set up where I was pumping out of the ocean. And I realized that was pulling seawater. And I'm thinking my water pumps are still somehow pulling seawater just because they're on a beach. And I might see if I can't move my territory uh, just a little bit farther back away from the beach and maybe avoid getting any of the seawater because I have a ton of purified water already sitting in water storage containers. So I don't really need the purified water. I know eventually I will, but this is phase five of my server. Uh, phase six, actually, I think you can transfer to the new servers already and join season two already. And I'm going to be doing that as soon as I can after, of course, I redeem my 400,000 energy links for my 4,000 extra star crom. And I've gotten the 100% clear on the manabus. And I want my phase five seasonal goals 100% clear. Those are your goals before you can jump into season two. Uh, that and, you know, phase six actually has to happen. But. Uh, aside from that, as you can see here, we are filling all of our barrels full, which is, you know, a base start of acid. All of them are currently unpowered. As I said before, I have the uh, relays with the toggle switches on them. 
uh, so that I can actually turn my barrels on and off. I can also turn off my entire production facility just with a push of a button. Uh, and then also all of my facilities that require power that are just for like normal maintenance, like making food and things like that, like your refrigerator. Uh, all of those are on their own toggles when I can turn them off. And I'm thinking about leaving the fridge on standby all the time because it's only two watts and it might be nice to have my fridge running at all times because otherwise I think I'm going to open a fridge to a bunch of spoiled food because it's never powered on. Uh, I'm not sure uh, how that works when you're not on and if your fridge is powered or not, if it saves stuff or not. If it does save your food, then, well, that's, that's not correct. Uh, but, you know, honestly, who cares? But as you can see here, here is the setup. Let's go ahead and run through this once again. As you can see here, Osmosis purifiers here. We have two per storage container there. There's four primary storage containers. Once that top one does empty out of seawater, I am actually going to be deleting it just so that I can enjoy the aesthetics of that over there. I'm not sure if I'm going to like building any defenses for it. It's just kind of a massive structure. It's my facility placed way over there. I do need to get my Stardust Purifier down somewhere in this base area. My base is by no means done. This is a base move and when I do a base move I do an entire base rebuild. And there will be an upcoming video eventually once this base is farther along. And honestly the next one's probably going to be over crops and uh, seeds and things like that and getting a ton of crops. Uh, because we are just going to be getting on into that shortly. Uh, and the sad part is it's almost season two time now, so uh, we are actually going to have to be, you know, starting over on the season two. But we are going to be getting our blueprints. There's a ton of stuff that still transfers over. Uh, also, I'm hoping to get a bunch of Eternal Land points uh, so that we can actually get ourselves some of the deviations instantly. Some of these deviations will really make your early game be a lot quicker and a lot easier. Uh, just by having them, I'm going to be transferring over my lethal rabbit, if at all possible. I'm going to transfer as many lethal rabbits as I can so that I don't have to do the dreaded leather farm because that is just one of the most annoying things in the early game for me was the leather farm. And what we're doing right here now is placing down super refineries so that we can actually take our acid and convert it into what is going to be mixed fuel and then we'll be placing the mixed fuel into the other refinery. So we're going to take two refineries and we're going to be placing maximum acid in both of those two refineries and they're going to be making mixed fuel. We're going to harvest those and we're going to place those into the other two refineries which are going to then be making barreled fuel which will be allowing us to make biomass missiles so that we are able to help the server out on getting a lot more prime wars done. Previously I did use barreled fuel as the way to make the uh you know premium barreled fuel you know i use the uh not barreled fuel but like barreled crude oil or whatever it is i use just an oil field area which worked very good i do still need to cover that area i used as a base area because this is a wonderful base area it's a great location uh, especially for once you're level 50 it's a great level 50 area for a long while it will make you enough missiles to clear most of the normal mode prime wars easy peasy uh, but this is for the late ones. This is for hopefully helping out with Manabus a little bit. We're going to be trying to make as many biomass missiles as we can. Also, I wanted to kind of try out, you know, the acid farms for, you know, when Season 2 does arrive, I might try and get an acid farm like this going earlier or game so that I can just log into some lovely amounts of acid. Uh, and this thing is nuts. And I'm definitely going to be saving a blueprint of at least the acid farm itself because I want to be able to just place this thing down again. Uh, next season uh, because that blueprint will transfer over as well and as you can see here this is kind of the start of it and the weird thing about it is the floors actually have like uh, modified elevation on this floor here like they're two different elevations here so I just kind of like bookcase a bunch of the gap in and I left the gap at the end there and it doesn't look too bad uh, but we're actually making here is fuses because we needed to add like a switchable power relay because even these uh, fuel things are going to need to have a power relay switch because I want the acid farm to be running at max to get me the materials and then once I have a bunch of them I'm going to fill the barrels up power them on and get them all running to make acid overnight and I'm also going to have acid going once I get this going so it's going to take like one more day we'll get to see a video of this thing outputting soon uh, it should be making a ton of barrel fuel I'm telling you guys this thing's going to be great uh, and I might have to make 
a larger array for converting mixed fuel into barrel fuel because I'm afraid that it's just going to take too long with just using two of them. I think I want to make a much, much larger array and it might even be on another floor. Also, as for the base itself, I do need to be rebuilding my farm area very soon. My farm is very, very important and uh, it's mainly important for the drinks and honestly, I, I don't know. I think that'll be the next video, honestly. It's probably going to be my farm area where I'm going to showcase how it works because I have a very, very nice automated farm uh, that I just one button click and I harvest the entire thing, guys. Uh, and I want to amplify it better by focusing seeds. And I think the way to do that is just I need to find an area to get a lot of seeds really, really easily. Uh, and that's what we're going to be working on soon next now that we have this acid farm set up nearly complete we do need to go get some electronic parts uh but that's just the point we are currently on now uh and i do believe this is about the end of the video guys i just wanted to show you my crazy acid farm and uh yeah so go ahead and leave a like on the video if you did enjoy it and subscribe if you're not already and once again as always keep it beast mode